Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. So today we'll be taking a look at two very interesting NPCs which were actually from the Half-Life 2 beta, but apparently were removed in the final game. And there's actually hints towards some of these characters within the Half-Life 2 game, within the story mode. Uh, primarily pointing out the cremator here, but we're going to be taking a look at two of them. One is the assassin, the second is the cremator. This may be a short video, but we are in this lovely map. I actually found this map while just looking on the workshop, and I figured we'd try it out because it looks really awesome. There's a lot of product placement, so hopefully we don't get sued, but uh, <laughs> I don't think we will. But yeah, guys, look how awesome this map is. But anyway, if anyone suggested this, it'll be down below right now. Thank you guys so much for your suggestion. Now, on to the mod. Alright, so I will be using a Darkened Sci-Fi Weapon Pack for this because, again, like I've stated in many videos, this is one of my favorite weapon packs and the whole thing. And the first thing we have to take care of is the Combine Assassin. So, oh my god. So it does so much damage and this thing will harass you. So we, I, I believe actually within the Combine Units Plus mod, I believe there was um, either this same NPC or something very similar to it. But... Uh, I wonder if this one differs in any way, so that's, I guess that's what we're going to find out. There wasn't really too much information on the, the Steam Workshop page, but uh, I think that this is going to be a very formidable foe. Uh, I did, oh my god, this, I forgot how, weapon, how cool this weapon is, but I did set a navigation mesh. Oh my god, I think I just screwed myself. Oh, I can't move. Yep, I'm probably dead. But um, uh, this NPC in particular is extremely persistent. And really agile like it's really hard just to shoot them because they move so quick all right guys so I have armed myself with a brand new weapon and what the <laughs> I guess they don't even know we're here so it's it looks to be somewhat like a female in fact I'm going to assume people are going to make comments about what I'm looking at but uh what the heck oh oh my god it has a melee attack what wait how did I get suit I have no I have no clue but we're gonna try to kill this NPC now see exactly how much it takes and oh we did it but you guys could see there when I was shooting it I don't even know if it's a her but um it did seem to actually dodge a lot of my bullets so pretty hard to hit this thing I can imagine <clears throat> why they removed this maybe because it was so annoying to fight against or because it was just too hard or maybe the physics or something I have no clue why they removed it all right guys I pulled up a bit of some facts and trivia here so the combine assassin was known as the female assassin and is a transhuman enemy cut from Half-Life 2, as we all know. The the successor to the Half-Life's female assassin, which you guys, you guys remember back in the original Half-Life, that she was really annoying. Pretty much just says that they were agile, and the reason why it was cut was because apparently the female Combine Sniper took its place and is in the arcade version of Half-Life 2, which really, like, they cut it for the arcade version? Like, that's so stupid. But anyway, the legs that, like, whoa, was that like lightning? The springs on her legs pretty much are pretty much like the same ones that Shell has from Portal, but uh, they pretty much scrapped it and instead used the springs and Shell's feet instead of the assassin. So pretty cool how like they kind of scrapped it and kind of like spliced her and pretty much put her in a bunch of games, you know, put her in the Half-Life Arcade and then took the springs from her legs, put that onto, uh, well, I should probably say feet put that onto Shell, and then Shell inherited that. So there's a lot of really cool stuff about that. And then uh, apparently she also has the Combine Elite Helmet, which we saw there. So really cool. I don't know why they removed it. It was really pretty cool NPC, and there's a lot of like cool facts and stuff behind it. So pretty much a waste. But next up, we have the Cremator. Now, my friends, we actually know about this guy because he is actually in Half-Life 2, at least a portion of his body. Pretty much when you go to Eli's lab, you see that weird head in like this jar and then Eli says, oh, well Alex brings home the strangest things and it, it's actually the head of a cremator, which is pretty interesting. Or is it the head of a cremator or is it whatever's in its stomach? I believe it's the head, but uh, <laughs> what pretty much the cremator was meant for was pretty much to dispose of all the bodies left from the combine assault or just dead bodies on the streets in general and they pretty much were the cleaning crew. Uh, so, it's just, like, they just were so creepy. I mean, look at this. He exists. And the emulator, which is what he uses, which we've looked at in the Combine Beta, or Combine Beta, in the Half-Life Beta weapons, uh, I was wondering, what is this thing from? And now I know it is from the Cremator. So, we're gonna try to kill this guy. 
he was actually meant to fight you in the game. Of course, as we probably all imagine. And if these are actually his animations from the game, it looks like he was fairly finished. Or maybe this was just finished by a modder, but regardless, he does exist. And it's really cool to see him actually alive and walking around. And apparently when you kill him, he just disappears into all of existence. Alright guys, I have a bit of trivia now. The cremator is a passive enemy, so one, he's passive, which means if you go by him, he wouldn't just attack you. You'd have to instigate him somehow. He was cut from Half-Life 2. The cremator is mainly known as a combine janitor. Exactly. He pretty much cleans up and was originally, originally intended to remove or sterilize corpses from the city streets. Coming from the city of any wildlife, it was also apparently to occasionally fight the player. So, is it passive or is it not? It gives a bunch of mixed signals here. Apparently there's even a factory. So that's pretty interesting. And of course we have a little quote here from the Combine propaganda poster. Wait, what the? This just now plays. But it says keep it clean. Or he will. Pretty intimidating, but uh... I have to admit that as, as long as you keep distance, you're pretty much good. And of course, if they are passive, then you don't have to worry about them even in the whole game. So, But of course, we'll never know because they were cut from Half-Life 2 and that's really stupid. But as we all know, there's been some very interesting NPCs that were meant to be in the Half-Life games that never really made it. <clears throat> Half-Life 1, uh, we all know what, what NPC I'm talking about. So now we're going to fight two assassins and see how we fare. I'm probably going to get super duper wrecked. In fact, I'm already almost dead. <laughs> Because I was stupid and I didn't spawn enough health, but we're going to do that right now. Alright guys, they even gave me some full battery too, so my suit is fully charged, ready to go, even though I'm some charcoal dude. Oh my- Whoa! What the frick? She like jumps in front of you! Oh my god, she is like- Like, the AI on this NPC is amazing. I feel like I'm actually like fighting some like spec ops. Like, operative or something, that make that make no sense. I feel like I'm fighting some, like, highly trained, like, player. Like, almost like it's multiplayer, like, the way they act. Again, maybe if the, if the actual, like, animations and just the scripts and everything with these NPCs, if it was made by, like, a, an add-on creator, then they did a hell of a job. But if it was just extracted from Half-Life, it only begs the question, why did they remove them in the first place again? Okay. Again, look at this, like, this is fun! Like, oh, what the- <laughs> I don't know what the heck's going on with that, but it, it, like, I don't know, but she's dead. But yeah, again, like, it- I can imagine it probably sped the game up a bit, and maybe they were just too challenging? I- I have no clue why they removed them, and I couldn't find any trace of it, but I'm sure there's somewhere online. Ah, Duke Nukem. I don't know about you guys, but I really love the Duke Nukem games, uh, what the- What the frick? Cameron Diaz, I don't know, that, that's funny. Alright guys, so we're going to finish this video off with pretty much fighting two of the assassins and two of the cremators and see what happens. I think I'm going to get super wrecked. I, they may fight each other, but I don't think they will because they're from the same faction. So we're going to see here what will happen. Alright, here we go. Already getting shot at like a mother fricker. Uh, I think we should kill these guys first. Although, they're not really shooting us. Drift them in acid and I am getting so much frame drops. Probably because I'm using the sci-fi weapons. And it is just miraculously raining. Like, has it been raining the whole time? Because I have not noticed it. This weapon is so freaking cool. Okay, that was easy. Uh, maybe the weapon's too strong. Oh, uh, trying to get headshots. I don't know if they even matter. Okay, so the cremator's a bit tankier than I suspected. But, you know what? We're going to return the favor. We're going to cremate him using this... Badass fire rifle. What is this dude made out of? Look at this. I think I know why they removed him from the game now. He's way. Whoa, okay, why did he die so easily? Maybe he was the one I was shooting at the whole time. Alright, don't we still have one assassin left? Or is that it? Was that really. Oh! Aha! She was hiding. Even with shotgun bullets. Like, they still miss. It's insane. Okay. Ooh. Okay, reload. Honestly, oh, okay, I guess she just disappeared. Honestly, they're not that squishy. I thought they were going to be like really easy to kill, but maybe my bullets just missed. But still, two very awesome NPCs. In fact, I'd say these are two of the most awesome NPCs I've seen in the Half-Life games. And they're the ones that get removed. So I have no clue why Valve did that, but 
Hopefully they bring him back in the next Half-Life. That'd be pretty awesome. But anyway, guys, that it ends the showcase of these two amazing, awesome NPCs that were cut, unfortunately, from the Half-Life 2 game. But if you guys did like this video, you can leave a like down below. Or if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe by clicking this red subscribe button down below. Or if you want to check out my second channel, that'll be the first link down in the description. Also, that'll be down there will be all the mods in this video, as well as my second channel, like I just said a million times. And my Facebook and Twitter, and pretty much everyone who made all these mods and everything. I like to really give shoutouts to the people who actually created the mods or helped create the mods because... Without them, this would not be possible, and I see too many YouTubers do these kind of videos, and they don't they don't give proper credit to those awesome add-on makers, and I do because they deserve it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, farewell. I'm gonna go for a swim.